What's up, everyone? Welcome to the channel. This is the NIL Commish. Uh, as you see down here, there's a bunch of social media stuff here. Um, I don't have all that set up right now as far as if... I think you can search NIL Commish to get there. But anyway, working on all the social media stuff and trying to get out there in other ways. But YouTube is the main platform. So if you want, please subscribe, like, comment, share all that good stuff. Let's get into this video. Before we start trolling these messages, I just started uh, setting up my little uh, screen here, as you can see. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you don't know this, but I just set up all this cool-looking visual stuff. And uh, anyway, I can also go into this, and it's not going into it. There, there we go. How about that? Looky there. So, there, as you can see down there at the bottom, it says NIL Commish at the very, very bottom. JJ's Woodworks 12. So I can't change that. I haven't figured out how to change it. I am I guess I'm not smart enough. I know I figured out how to do a lot of this stuff, but there's still probably some simple stuff that I still have not figured out. But let's go ahead and get into the real part of this video. Okay, so some of these are going to be absolutely ridiculous. They're going to be stupid, but that is the whole point. I will have some that actually speak a little bit of truth, and we'll just kind of go over that, and I'll give my opinion, you leave your opinion, all that good stuff as well. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let's get into these comments. First one. We got the season win streak of zero. Okay, so Alabama fans are loving this meme. It's probably already been worn out through the nation, but... Uh, I watched the Outlaw of College Football. I got to give a shout out to him. He sent some uh, subscriptions my direction and gave me a, a shout out on his page. He's got way more followers than I do, but I'm still working on that. But anyway, appreciate you. Thank you. Go check out his page. Uh, he said something about the last 10 games. They're 1-9 and nine against Alabama. Uh, if you look at their win streak, they were 88-6. and six. I think all six losses or Alabama, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's that's funny. So I get it. Alabama, every meme they see like this, they're 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 chuckling and they're they're loving it. They are loving it. Sorry, Georgia fans. That's <laughs> gotta suck for you and Kirby Smart. But anyway, let's get to the next one. And up next we got oh, oh how'd that get in there? Oh, get hang on. No, get that out of there. Sheesh. All right, from a Tennessee fan, congratulations on the win, Oklahoma. Boomer, Sooner. I can get with that. You know what? Sorry, Tennessee fans, but I see you guys on the message boards a lot. The game was a long time ago. We, we just played Auburn, and you're still talking about the Oklahoma game. Good win. Good job. We don't like losing, but you won. Good job. Okay? Here's a good one. Where are those big 12 turn SEC guys that we're talking? Question mark. They are struggling with this SEC schedule. Whole different ball game. Literally. I don't know who this is a fan of, but probably Auburn. Because <laughs> they posted it at the 21 to 10 mark, as you can see in the picture. <laughs> That's why I wait till the end of a game to post a video to YouTube. Balls fans, is your defense freaky fast to catch Milrow when Bama comes to town? I'm interested to see how defenses adjust. Okay. Okay, 30 for 47 in passing, 347 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, I don't get the me. Oh, it's, it's Baker Mayfield. I bet you call him Cowherd. He just, he just can't ever get it right, can he? Let's go, Sam Darnell. All right, let's actually get serious on this one. This one's just kind of cute, funny at the same time. So Saturday was really tough, really tough. We walked back tired and sweaty from standing on our feet and cheering our hearts out, dejected and a little mad. But this made me feel a little bit better. Probably the picture. Let's just keep being us. Let me scroll down there and see what else is said. Uh, I know yesterday wasn't the outcome you were hoping for, but I wanted to say thank you. I'm a Sooners fan, and yesterday was the first game I was ever able to bring my sons to. I'm sure there's more to that, but I can't see it. But anyway, that's kind of funny. That means they probably left early. That's what I'm getting out of it. If I'm wrong, you can tell me I'm stupid in the comments, but... 
They probably left early thinking, oh, I'm sorry, kids, that sucks. You didn't get to see the Sooners win. And then they came back. Sorry, guys. Sorry, kids. That sucks. Good story, though. Boomer Sooner. What on earth is going on this season? When you think a team is down in the dumps, looks like they're coming up to be one of the better teams. And some of the teams you think were one of the better teams are now down in the dumps. It's a weird year. Seth Latrell, I hope you're reading this post along with all other comments about you out there. We need you to change whatever you're doing now in order for us to win. Fred Venables hired you to win games, so figure it out. Yeah, dude, figure it out. I mean, I don't think you should worry. I know that he reads these message boards, so I'm pretty sure that your post will get to him. Okay, one of the two aren't the same. Can't you point out the team who covered the point spread? Can't? You know, you can edit your post. Cannot you point out the team? Okay. Can you point out the team who covered the point spread? Uh, Max Auburn, if Oklahoma SEC ready. <laughs> okay. Uh, the spell check kind of thing already makes me laugh. Like, almost like they're doing it intentionally. I like the troll, if that's what you meant to do. If not, oh my gosh, were you drunk? Oklahoma fans are not handling the loss to Tennessee very well. I mean, I guess if you're clicking away on the message boards, you'll you'll see that. Man, a lot of this is always going towards Tennessee. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Tennessee fans, if you think I'm picking on you, that's not fair. Most of these have come from Sooner fans. Here's another one. We'll still be talking about how Tennessee barely beat, sorry, a half-strength OU team by 10 points in five years. Get used to it. Sooners don't forget. Boomer. Like, I... Whether you're a Tennessee fan or an Oklahoma fan or any fan, like, what? I don't, I, I, there's a keyboard in front of me in front of that computer, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I got to say something. I got to go post something. I got to rile some stuff up between some other keyboard warriors. I mean, you realize nobody really reads this stuff. You're probably getting more views out of what I'm putting out on YouTube than you actually do eyes seeing your actual post. Just saying. Just saying. For example, here's a good post. Even though I'm an OU fan, here's a Texas post. Buy or sell. Texas has the best offensive line in the nation. It's basically asking a question. So you can get on there and troll and be like, heck no, Texas sucks. Or you can get on there and be like, wow, their offensive line looks pretty damn good. Eh? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Sorry you're too soft for SEC football. What the... Look at his eye paint. Is that real? Did that really happen? Holy crap. Oh my gosh. We need to uh, maybe have a little sit down with that guy. I had to do one about LeBroni. LeBroni Braun. Oh my gosh. OMG. The aura is insane. History. Whoever hates to see this is a pure hater. This is legendary. Oh, man, I'm going to be making a lot of LeBron James videos, I can tell you that. Oh, I love this one. Oh, they put this up like being so clever. So basically, they're saying that every year, whoever wears the white jerseys is winning the Texas OU game. And then it says 2017, 2018, 2019. Oh, whoops. Seems that 2020 seems to be missing in there. Oh, looks like a crimson jersey must have won in 2020. Yeah. What was the score of that one? Oh, yeah. 53-45. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Unfortunately, we're not making fun of the Sanders crew in this one. Hmm. I really like Colorado, but not right now. And I think you know why. You know where I'm going with that. But anyway, check this out. Football is all I have to fall on. Otherwise, I'm in the streets. 
Well, you'd be on the streets because you can't be inside of them. But anyway, the reason why I don't like this one is because it's so fake, so fake. And the, the thing that irritates me the most is that people fall for it. And they believe all this crap. It drives me nuts. Anyway, we'll make fun of the old primed, primed Sanders someday down the road for sure. So, Texas is now favored to win the SEC. Oh, whoops. That didn't last very long, did it? About a week. Let's give a shout out to Dikembe Matumbo. Rest in peace. I'm certain about two things in life. Oklahoma only fears God. And Texas fears Oklahoma. Danny Stetsman. End quote. So true. So true. Here we go. What?